Hey everybody, Preferred Selection here. You're about to see a little bit of Risk of Rain. Today we're going to be playing some uh, kind of cheesy Risk of Rain because I'm in the mood for a relaxing, easy run. And there's no shame in that. You know, people can call you a noob or whatever, but there's no shame in being a noob. And I've got triple digit hours in this game, but it's a hard game. And what I enjoy most about this game is to play it in kind of a meditative way where I just relax and have some fun and don't worry about min-maxing. So because of that, I'm going to be playing on Drizzle, which is the easiest difficulty. Uh, you can feel however, whatever way you want about that, <laughs> uh, you know. I'm going to be playing with Command, which is going to give me my choice of items with some limitations. And I'm going to be playing with Origin, and Origin is going to allow a boss to spawn, a relatively kind of middle, middle of the road boss every... Oh, I'm not making jumps tonight, am I? Uh, yeah, Origin's gonna allow an M Vanguard, which is not a, not a super hard boss, but also not the easiest boss. We're gonna get one of those every 10 minutes. It's, it's just gonna be nice. It's gonna be an extra item, a little bit extra experience. Just checking this level for loot. The character I'm playing with, by the way, is the chef, which is a really good new character. I'm not great with the chef. I think he's uh, pretty solid. Did I did I play with the chef for my last video? I think I might have. No, maybe I played Huntress. I can't remember. Whoa. Yeah, the chef, his main ability is these knives that he throws. It's his, you know, his on use fastest ability. And his other abilities include a oil slick thing, which is really good in conjunction with that fire thing. So what item do we want first? I think I'll take Infusion, just so we can start stacking up health. We don't, we don't, won't really need very many defensive items because this is going to be a run on the easier side of things. But infusion will help us out. Give us one health for for every kill. I'm so used to the huntress, which like turns towards enemies, that I'm just kind of not. <laughs> not aiming my attacks. Found the teleporter. We're going to go ahead and activate that. Not a lot of loot on this level. This is the... For what it's worth, this is the harder of the two early levels. Still not super hard. I'm kind of hoping for a magma worm just because... Well, it's normally the hard... Yep, there we go. Did I just mess that up pretty bad? I think I just did. That's okay. <laughs> I'm overthinking things and hitting the wrong buttons. This is rather messy. Oh well, it doesn't seem to matter. I mean, we're, we're playing on easy. Okay, this time let's not hit... There we go. Oh, I don't think I've ever done that before, hit those buttons in the wrong order. I'm gonna pick up Smart Shopper early. It's got, it's kind of an unorthodox pickup, but it'll give us more money. It can be mean on the next level we can just rush the teleporter and rushing the teleporter is handy. It'll get you out of the level faster, which means the game stays easier. Spawn rates stay down. This is a game where you definitely benefit from getting through it as fast as possible. Wow, I don't think I should have... <laughs> Missing a lot of easy jumps, I don't know why. Yeah, a lot of people don't respect the uh, smart shopper. I think it's pretty good. I'm actually choking a little bit on how to do this layout normally. like. How do you normally get up there? Is it over here? Because it must be. 
No, that doesn't make any sense. How do you normally get up there? It's just, it's just this thing, right? Yeah. I'm crazy. Kill some of these guys. These guys are really nice with infusion because whatever they give you, you're going to get 5 health on top of it. Pick up crit specs, they're nice to have. Uh, I haven't really thought of any, like, too goofy of a build to do with this character. But, come up with something. Hermit Scarf improves our dodge chance. Now let's go ahead and get that double jump so that we can get around a little bit easier. Should have probably taken a Goat Hoof by now, and if I get another white, that's what I'll take. Even though I am playing on, you know, easy mode, I'd still like to... Oh, we get a use item. For our use item, we'll go ahead and get uh, Captain's Brooch. Spawn some chests on the level. Where did that spawn? I don't even see it. Should spawn... Oh yeah, okay. Another green. Pick up the red whip. Move very fast out of combat. It's the equivalent of four goat hooves. There's another chest over here. I feel like that used to send you off the screen more than it does now. Like, that little jump thing. And I should use the rest of my money, just while I'm here. We move so fast, it's, it's almost trivial to backtrack now. Let's see if we can get another... Nope. Uh, that would be another use item, and we can only have one, so we are not interested in that. It's a really slow first level. We kind of screwed around a lot. But that's okay, because we're playing on easy, so we don't need to get through a level that fast. Uh, damp caverns I really don't like. It's... I just personally... Prefer the other layout for the second level. I know Damp Cavern's a lot worse than I know the other level. So one of the nice things about the fact that we bought a... What is that green item called? Uh, not life savings, but... Money thing. Something about that item. It's gonna bother me now. This guy is gonna spawn a couple of elites when he dies, so we wanna be careful that we are actually at decent health when we kill him. Because that I'm gonna run away a little bit. Let's stand here and regain some health. Like a guardian's heart pretty soon. That'd be a nice thing to have. Yeah, now the, there's those little buddies of his that do a lot of damage. These green guys can hit you for a lot. They can they can easily kill you from this amount of health, even on easy. So I want to be over here. It's about time to get, uh... Let's get that Guardian's Heart. 
Now let's get crit sides for healing and 5% more crit chance. Still not looking at a ton in the way of extra damage, so maybe I'll take uh, Frost Relic right there. Really powerful item. It'll give us a ton of extra damage. Get this chest that used to be tricky to get. Pick up a Brilliant Behemoth. It's going to give us uh, just more damage. It'll give us a little explosion. What do I want here? Eh, another Guardian's Heart's fine. There's probably more loot on this level, but we can just leave. We are way overpowered. Or we can just uh, spawn a chest right there. Oh yeah, I forgot about this guy. I'm always surprised on the 10 minute mark when he shows up. He is dead. He dropped the use item, so unfortunately he will not be helping us today. Barbed wire goes nicely with the frost relic because if you're going to be kiting through enemies, you might as well have, uh... you know what? I'm going to explore this level just a little bit, just a little. These chests are really good when you have command. Don't want that drone. It's the worst drone. In the... Well, it's the weakest attack drone in the game. When you have command on, always buy the question mark because that is the thing that gives you options. I actually don't feel that survivable because we've been taking a lot of damage, so that's why I bought that little bit of armor right there. This time I'll buy... I think the jetpack's generally worse than the double jump by a lot. And maybe, like, I can almost guarantee that two double jumps gives you more height. But... Ooh, another rare. Ceremonial dagger time. Yeah, even though two double jumps would get, like would give you more height than just having the combo, I really like the movement feel of the jetpacks. So, one without first, and I'll, I'll probably never buy another jetpack. I'll probably just end up stacking. Probably just end up stacking double jumps from from here on out. That little green arrow points you towards the teleporter. If you are wondering. Alrighty, I really hope that this is the uh, full bridge. There's two layouts of this world, and one of them. Gives you a nice little... Yes, this is the full bridge. One of the layouts to this level gives you a nice little secret, and... The other one doesn't. Take an explorer's key for now, it'll, it'll be handy for a little bit. Waiting around here, just gonna do a little bit of farming. I'm gonna swap these back so that my brooch doesn't despawn. Uh, you have 30 seconds, I believe, for things to despawn. Uh, but orange boxes never despawn, so I really jumped the gun on buying that way too early. Played the shrine. Let's see what we get. Didn't get anything. That's a, that's a shame. Run back here. Look at how quickly the Red Whip kicks in. Just need some more spawns so that I can do silly things. The newest red I bought, by the way, Ceremon Ceremonial Dagger. That is... What I want here? Leeching Seed, because this guy's a really high attack speed. Frost Relic's crazy. Go 
That should be the last time I have to swap. Now I can run back to where these chests were. The key I have is going to allow me to open these chests. And <laughs> hardly worth uh, camping out on the spot for so long, but that's fine. We're going to spend a lot of time on this level because we no longer care about time. In Drizzle, you really don't have to care about your time at all. It's just kind of up to you if you want to... Ooh, I'm getting kind of destroyed over here. Not too badly, but still. Uh, I don't want to pick this up around the bison, so I'll just leave it there for now. Come, I'll be I'll be coming back up here pretty soon. Uh, I can probably go ahead and quickly. Yeah, smart chopper was the item I was trying to think of earlier. crowd control going on. So I'm going to fight the boss here, and then I'm going to go reset the level by going to Boar Beach. I don't think Boar Beach is as good as it used to be, because it used to be the way to farm up a whole bunch of boss kills, get a bunch of items, but nowadays it's kind of like you could do that, or you could just you know, get a bunch of money and this, you know, captain's brooch that I have, or there's there's really, like, you can just loop. You can just loop to farm. So I need to pretty quickly think of, like, some kind of funny build to do with this character or something that would be clever or, you know, a little bit out of the norm. Because right now I'm just picking up whatever does the most damage. And that's not like the most exciting thing in the world to just watch me play on easy with like command helping me and to just, you know, to just then get the most powerful thing ever. It's fun, but it's not like, it wears out its welcome pretty quickly. Although you notice that I've still been at like below half health sometimes in this, uh, you can certainly you can certainly die on on easy. I've done it <laughs> many times. It's not like it's really night and day from playing on harder difficulties. The the game just scale like this isn't different. The game just scales a lot faster on normal and hard. What do I want? Get a missile. Need some damage. Panic mines is fine. These are the one things that you can't cheese with uh, command. Is there's no way to get. There's no way to play those better than normal. Part of the reason I really like Smart Chopper, I have a I have a soft spot for any item that actually stacks linearly. Like they're, like many of the items, feel like they should stack linearly, but you'll only get like half a use when you buy a second one. Like Leeching Seed, for example. I want. Don't even know. I'll get a Will of the West. Why not? That little explosion that enemy did was because of Will of the Wisp. Oh, but I was thinking about Smart Chopper. Yeah, you get 25% uh, more gold from enemies. And uh, gold you don't spend on a level translates into experience, which can be really nice, you know, just for... Like, level 12 is probably one level higher than we'd be normally right now. And one level might not seem like a big deal, but 
it might be the difference between I don't know having like a green or like like a, a really good green item like you're eh, actually I'd say leveling up is the equivalent of picking up like a good red item because it's it's more damage it's more recovery it's just more of everything like you get armor, you get health, you get damage, you get regen. I want. I've heard that getting too many of these frost relics can crash the game, so I probably won't. Probably won't stack them to like an absurd amount, but I might stack up some frost relics just for the fun of it. That sound you hear is my panic mines. I really don't like the way that Frost Relic stacks. It just becomes a... Uh... You get four instead of three, and then five instead of four, and that's that's fine, but what is it? You know, it doesn't really... I wanted that crowbar. That's too bad. I should play this more. Reds are always nice. Uh, let's go with... If we're going to do something silly, we should maybe take... I'll start with a Wicked Ring. Uh, reduces all my cooldowns by one, which means I'll be able to use my... Uh, fourth ability a lot faster. I don't really like Wicked Ring much with this character. But it seems like something you'd always take when you're kind of breaking the game. Maybe Frost Relic stacks in more ways than I'm realizing, because that seemed to happen fast. The secret item I just picked up, or, you know, item exclusive to this level, the white undershirt, is uh, armor, I think. It might be a little bit more damage, but I think it's mostly a little bit of armor. It's not like amazing, but it's, it's good. It's a good item. So I won't, I won't get a boss if I activate that teleporter. Instead, I'll just get uh, this, this, this secret level will just end. I might go ahead and do that because we're here too early to do anything. Like I, I'll wait around for one boss, but I can't wait around for many bosses because you guys will get bored. I'll just be sitting here farming. One thing I could do that might be fun is I might stack a... Uh... I, st I might stack... There's another red. Rapid Mitosis reduces the cooldown of my use items, and I think it stacks uh, a lot. <laughs> So I might get a bunch of those because I've never done that before and then I could use the brooch a whole bunch and I could just get like a million items that way. It could be fun. Let's see what we get. I feel like there's more... <laughs> I feel like there's a pretty good chance of getting Ancient Valley after that. I don't know if it's just uh, user bias or... Seems like I end up here a lot. Yeah, normally the brooch takes... Normally the brooch, I believe, takes two minutes to come off cooldown. And I think you guys saw it just took... Uh, it's taking like uh, 75 seconds now. Or somewhere around there. I'll have to pay more attention next time I use it. What's another item I want? Shackles are pretty good. Yeah, Frost Relic's just insane. It, sh it could have easily been a red tier item if they decided to appropriately value it. Oops. 
Was there a chest up there? I can't remember if there was a chest or just a little thingy. Lots of use items. That's not what I want to see right now. Okay, so we're getting 100 seconds instead of, I believe, 120. Vial's good for healing. I find that I end up wanting way more white items than greens. So I'm a little bit hoping for some more whites to drop. Man, these guys are going to make it a little bit of a pain to go over and get this. Okay, so we had we had a hundred. I believe we went from 120 to 100 on this captain's brooch, and now we have two of these things. So we'll have ooh teleporters are usually not over here. It's kind of lucky that it was. I don't think that this is the full bridge layout, but I'm not 100 percent sure. I'll have to check on that. See, these frost relics are really good. They just kind of chew through things, but I don't actually know, like, I don't see why I'd ever need more than five around me, because they get kind of far apart after that. Like, they have different layouts around your body for each one. And seven's kind of cool, because seven you get one that's right on you, so maybe I'll go until... Okay, so now we're down to 76 seconds for this thing, so we know that rapid mitosis at least stacks. We don't know how well. Doing pretty good on health. Let's see what's in there. Another white item. I think I'll go with uh, attack speed. See if we can get any more enemies to spawn. Oh yeah, we got a couple. So let's go up here and see if we have a full bridge. I don't think we do. This doesn't really feel right. Could be crazy. Hoping I'm crazy because I'd love to go get another undershirt. Bustling fungus is not really what we need. We might use it to uh, cheese some shrines later. Don't need to use items. Work on maxing our crit. It'll happen eventually. And I'd really rather max our crit with a big stack of harvester scythes than sty scythes than So it looks like we maybe twenty seconds, ten seconds, somewhere between there dropped off that. So we have three of those rapid mitosis now, that's pretty handy. Another feather, fine with me. Triple jump. Predatory instincts attack uh, critical, critical strikes to increase attack speed? I guess so. I never really use predatory instincts, so I kind of forget how it works. Okay, so we've gone from 76 to 56, so it seems like at some point, are we just going to be able to like spam? Uh, we might need more money if that's the case. We can just eventually spam our use item. Oh, we're actually out of money. It's pretty funny. Falling, you will take fall damage in this game, but it's kind of trivial. Like, it's it's not the greatest idea, but uh, it'll never kill you, because it's a percentage thing, so you can't... You can If you're at one health and you fall like the length of a level, you won't die. Speaking of dying, here's where uh, we run the risk of getting killed if we screw around, so... Getting this level is not exactly ideal.
Red Whip, <laughs> Red Whip makes it a lot easier. I want to put this chest somewhere that we don't have to backtrack for it too much. I don't like seeing uh, all these Lem <laughs> Elder Lemurians. Alright, we're just going to go ahead and activate this right away. Then kill these guys, and we're hoping for anything but Cremator. And we got a Cremator, but we're playing on easy, so it shouldn't be too bad. Oh, Cremator and Imp at the same time. Uh, never mind what I said about not being too bad. Still not the end of the world. Yeah, we hit that uh, 30 mark. Luckily, Frost Relic really does a number on the Cremator. And double jumps means that we can get out of the little area that we're in pretty easily. Yeah, that one. <laughs> okay, so we, yeah, we are, we've are we overpowered easy mode, and we're, we're going to enter the part of the game where I feel a little bit self-conscious for playing on easy, because it's going to be slightly destroying the game. We didn't really... I guess we didn't really work too hard to do it, but... You know, it is what it is. What do we want from here? More money, I think. Take attack speed. I forget how these stack, but I mean, I think they stack fine. Armor is nice. Take even more attack speed. There we go. I will want to stop picking up soldiers' syringes around round 10, I think. Uh, they used to have a weird bug where they would... Where did that go? We spawned a chest, but now I don't see it. There it is. Soldiers' syringe used to have a weird bug where it would start to loop. Like, your attack speed would loop back to normal or a subnormal if you took too many. They no longer do that, but there's still... I don't think that they go really past like 10 or 11, so there's no reason to get like a million of them. This is normally, normally the penultimate level of the game, but you can go past here if you... Okay, so now we're gonna do a little bit of a switcheroonie. We're gonna go with a... Carrera Marble. In the last few times I tried this, I messed up, so... Can't guarantee this will work, but I think you guys know what I'm gonna try and do. So we want to place this right... here. And do a little bit of a glitch on this health shrine. Should work out. Really bad at this, though. Come back down and see if we got it. Toxic Beast is pretty good to see. I'll go ahead and leave him alive for a bit so we can get uh, some infusion heals off him. So this uh, didn't work. We're going to get one more play off of the health shrine than we should have. But we're not going to get infinite which is how it used to work and what I've gotten infinite at least once since the new patch but I've tried to do the the Carrera marble health shrine glitch like I don't know three times not a ton uh, four four times counting this and it's only worked the once so So yeah, I don't know. I guess they nerfed it a little bit.
Yeah, seven of these, uh... Seven Frost Relics definitely feel, feel like enough. I could go for more and see what happens, but... I don't know if it'll actually make us any more powerful. The timer for how long they stay out might be affected, but... It's hard to tell. The... <laughs> man, the... The Toxic Beast, he really just feeds the... Go with the Golden Gun just for more damage. It's worth picking up one of those. You don't want to pick up multiples because, uh... They don't really do anything in multiples. It just lowers the... Golden Gun, is, it gives you an amount of damage based on how much gold you have. And having... We can actually afford this. Of course we just want another... We could be so powerful right now, but instead we have five Rapid Mitosis. That's fine. It's kind of funny. It's better than... Like, we could be doing insane damage with Brilliant Behemoth stacked but times a million... You know, times six anyway. To basically give, it, give us the double the damage we're doing right now. But we don't need that. We're plenty survivable. And it's not like we haven't benefited at all from our Rapid Mitosis collection. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna be greedy. And I, yeah, I just wanted to. All right, we have six rapid mitosis. This is gonna hurt our ability to do science a little bit because we won't know when the stacks <laughs> stop working. Wow, our our cap our key now goes down very very quickly compared to what it should do. Yeah, so we won't know entirely when our Rapid Mitosis stopped working. I mean, some of you guys at home might know, but I won't. Yeah, Key is not really what I want here, but hopefully we can remedy that situation very quickly. So we get to play this. Uh, we didn't get anything from it. Gotta play it one extra time because we did something a little cheesy. But there's a way to get it to play infinite times, and I think they just made the timing a lot tighter on that. Right, so we're back to the first level, doing a little bit of a loop. Pick up a... you know, pick up some healing. Man, it's so weird to see the key with uh, such a short amount of time on it. We are not doing a ton of damage. It's okay. I'll get some more jumps. Why not? More crit chance. I'm just kind of looking for the teleporter. I don't know the optimal routes for like checking levels for loot or anything like that, which you need to kind of have at least a feel for when you go on to the harder difficulties of this game, but for right now, I mean, not going to worry about it. Well, there's some use items. Unfortunately, they're none of the ones we want, but... Oh, we don't, we don't have any money, that's right, because I've just been running away from everything. Okay, so I clearly ran straight by the boss summons. Which is not what you want to do. That's what 8 looks like. 8 doesn't really feel that much better than 7, so... 
It's kind of why, as much as I think that the Frost Relic is maybe one of the best new items in the game, I don't really get the... Doesn't doesn't seem like it's worth stacking to High Heaven. And I have heard that it is one of the things that can cause a crash. Not like a fun drop to, you know, very few frames crash, but like an actual... Another red. Uh, this time I'm going to get... Shattering Justice, because I feel like it's about time to start doing a little bit more damage than we're doing. Game Vanguard, come to the party. It's gonna die very quickly. We finally get our... our brooch back. Let's see the charge time on our brooch now that we have. 24! So that's pretty darn good. That's an item every, you know, more than two items a minute. Hard to complain about that. I'm gonna start picking up crowbars just for crazy damage. Where is the boss? I guess it's gonna be up there. Have we been up there? Yeah, we've been up here. There was no boss to be found. Don't need random use items. I'd really like to find the boss before we end up fighting a magma worm. Is it like down here and I've just been taking the top? I haven't seen it. No, we've been down here. Look at the difference in, in the health bar between when frost relics are out and when they're not out. Crazy times. I never have this kind of trouble looking for <laughs> the boss platform, but I guess it's one of those days. I might want to start stacking. Oh, right, there's a whole. I forgot about this whole area. I was gonna say that I might want to start stacking goat hooves, and there's one to give me opportunity to do just that. At some point I'll want to take uh, Firework, one of the fun new items. Let's go ahead and take it now. Just decimate a bunch of enemies. There's another red. There's some whites. Alright, so we're on, what, like 24 seconds? Let's see what... Kinda watch my health while I'm standing in the middle of this. That's one of the downsides to Command, is you do actually take a lot of damage while you're deciding between items if you let yourself decide long enough. So 18, so we know that there's a difference between... We know that there's a difference between uh, 6 and 7, so... I'd say Rapid Mitosis stacks for a long, long time. This is absurd. I don't know why I've never built Rapid Mitosis before, but it is clearly crazy. And Frost Relic is just... I'm not even holding attack anymore. We've just turned ourselves into a buzzsaw. A buzzsaw that's continuously buying items. Let's 
Go ahead and improve that crit. Do more of these silly things. Faster run. Before the patch, I used to like to buy enough um, enough of those legs to enough of those goat hooves to make myself quote unquote a uh, a full goat, but it's no longer necessary with Red Whip because Red Whip Red Whip is crazy good. Where's this other enemy? Oh yeah, the Colossus that we like. Like, we cannot possibly ever feel like we are wasting any time because every 18 seconds we're getting an item. The game will never outscale us. We did get really lucky with reds this, uh, this run, in general. Get another firework, why not? Don't need more use items. We have an, an insane use item that's giving us an item every 18 seconds. And yes, if you're better at uh, dodging and have command unlocked, you could certainly do this on a harder difficulty. If you feel like going to Monsoon and getting an item every minute, three items a minute, five items a minute, you know, just... I'm, like, this cooldown is almost... It's almost obnoxious. Like, I'm almost getting tired of running back to... <laughs> I'm almost getting tired of running back to... to spawn this. We don't have any money right now, so I'll wait a little bit. Got a magma worm. I don't know if you can get overloading magma worms on Drizzle. I think you can, but it takes forever. Yeah, this, this is getting a little silly. We're actually seeing like frame drops at the moment. I even want crowbars are kind of one of those default things that I get when I have no idea what I want anymore. But what would actually help out uh, help out this build? I feel like we've got the as many items as we want thing on lockdown. Fireworks are kind of funny, so we could start using fireworks as like our main weapon. Just like make a ton of fireworks every time we open a chest. Why not? It's a little hard to see how many fireworks we've got stacked, but it appears like it's about... Yeah, we've got four right now. My it's mildly off screen. We could search this level for loot, but with uh, with this setup, it's almost like, why bother? We're going to get loot every minute, like in multiple pieces. Now we have what I've been hoping for, which is... Uh... Where'd that chest go? Oh, it spawned down there. It's kind of annoying. I may go get it. Oh, we don't actually have a full bridge. That's unfortunate. That's fine, though. Maybe we'll get an Ifrit and I'll be able to show off that boss. Give me some enemies. What do you have for me? At this point, I'm getting item, like... Like, I'm getting a new uh, item by the time that I've decided on the item I want.
Wouldn't mind a little bit more healing. We're not healing a ton at the moment. Yeah, let's just get more fireworks. We've got enough money to just keep doing this. Oh yeah, this guy. He'll teleport after me, so I don't really need to fight him up here, but... It seems like it's going quickly enough, so we'll just do it. Get more money. Don't really want a boxing glove, so I'm just gonna leave it. Do I want from here? Take a crit scythe. I don't. I don't need another. I don't even remember what I was gonna say. Absolute carnage. Oh yeah, I don't need another use item. I could take another use item just to... see if I can like break the game in like a really unusual way now that I've got this many items going, but... We'll do that later. Like, there will always be chances to pick up new use items. For right now, I just want to stack what we have and see how crazy it can get. I've been picking up more crit uh, as we've been going along. Grabbing some harvester sides. I think we have, yeah, we've got four now. So we're still not at 100% crit, but we're getting close. Just about critting 100% of the time. Kind of looks like we're, we're there, but I don't think the map is, is right. I didn't mean I didn't mean to pick up that monster tooth, but you know, eventually you hit a point of breaking the game where it doesn't really matter what you pick up. Another crit scythe. Yeah, now I'm trying to think of a good use item to switch to for making the game really silly. Not anytime soon, but maybe before the boss we'll switch to... We'll switch to like, uh, I don't know, the backup or something, and we'll try and do the boss with just a use item. For now we'll just keep looping. It's been an hour-long video, so uh, I won't keep it going too much further. I don't feel like spawning a chest right now because I don't know if I'll be back down here. Although we just got a ton of money from that, probably. Yeah, we did. Not quite enough. Wait for another do it. I can start getting some more health, but I feel like uh, I don't want to become unkillable. Like, we're already unkillable if we attack, but I don't want to just become too unkillable. Those fireworks are just crazy. Is there anything over here? Nope. Go up. Stack more fireworks, why not? Talk to 
Toxic Beast is pretty good. I think I'll leave him alive for a little bit. I don't want to pick up drones just because I don't feel like it. really like another red. It's been a while since we've gotten a red tier item. And those are the best items, uh, for the most part. Although with, with Command On, you can pick, like, you know, you can, you can pick, uh, greens and... That's what makes it crazy, is you can pick the, the greens and whites that are as good as the reds. Like, the double jump is, is absolutely, absolutely crazy. Crazy good. I just still can't believe how fast we're opening these. Nor can I believe that we haven't seen a, uh... Yeah, the Toxic Beast just died without us being up there. That's pretty wild. Pretty wild. This is almost tedious how much, uh... How, how often we can open the chest. Let's see what's going on here, shall we? Go ahead and spawn this there so that it's close to everything. Golden chest will be another guaranteed uh, red. And I think I will get one more rapid mitosis just to like see when, if ever. I'm pretty sure we're getting a 75% reduction on, or maybe around there, around a 75% reduction on on time to use our use item. But I want to see if it has like a bottom limit. There's a use item in case we feel like playing with any unusual use items this this time around. Two greens is nice to have. I'm gonna wait a little bit before messing with that again. Ooh, we dropped really low health there. We're okay. We are all right. Those are health shrines if you're wondering why my health suddenly disappeared. There's another red. I should get at least one beating embryo to double my chances of all this stuff happening. So yeah, I'll get a beating embryo next. Uh, 13 down from 18, so yeah, it does seem like it's about 75% reduction. It's going to come to a point where... Um, I'm just going to be tired of spawning chests. But that point is not yet. Bitterroot is a really underrated item. Just gives you more health. 8% more health and it stacks linearly, so it's just kind of kind of good. Like I see people who really love like really really love infusion. And, you know, if you really love Infusion, why don't you like Bitterroot at all is one of the things that I wonder. And it's not, like, it says it's 8% of your, you know... I think there's some confusion about whether Bitterroot is based on when you pick it up or if it just increases your max health by 8%. It, uh... It works in, in the best possible way, where it's 8% of your health for forever, factoring in leveling up and stuff, so it's not like... It's not like you lose out or anything, like if you use it too early 
or if you get one too early. They do stop stacking at like 40 or something I've heard, although people make claims like that that items stop stacking at 40 or 50 and I always kind of wonder if they're like where their information comes from because if it's just from testing like if you tested an item to where you got up to 40 or 50 like what else did you do like I want to know like to what degree did you break the game because there's so many other things that could be factoring into what they what they think is like a single equation Have I fought the I've not fought the boss on this level yet. So let's go do that wherever the boss is. There are some, like, attacks that have longer cooldowns than this uh, chest generation right now. I've probably seen the boss pedestal and I just like, ignored it. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get a beating embryo. That means we can sometimes get two chests at once, which I think might have just happened right there. Don't need to use items. Just get more money. Level up even more. We've hit over an hour. This is going to be a long video. I don't know how much long. I'm probably not going to go like too much longer. But. I don't know. Let's see. I think crowbars are going to get to a point where they don't do anything soon. There's there's no way to back out of the item selection menu once you get into it, which is why I'm buying I, like orange items when I shouldn't when I really don't need to be. Beating Embryo is a 30% chance to double use effect, I believe. So it is slightly better for us than getting like a ninth Rapid Mitosis, so actually the numbers are pretty close. Get some bitter roots. Get another uh, syringe. So why not? Really at a loss for what I want now. Get some more barbed wire. I'm trying to think of what we don't have, because there's obviously some things that we don't have right now. It's hard to say if we're more more or less powerful than we would be if we just gotten like a whole bunch of uh, like better red like if we had eight better red items that actually were top tier because we have command instead of choosing silly ones, but I really don't know, because the... Uh, yeah, played, played's decent. It's really hard to say. Picked up another jet back. I'm not, not really sure why I did that, but whatever. Yeah, I can barely keep up with... <laughs> I can barely keep up with this thing now. I guess I'm going back on one more loop. I don't I, I don't know if I'll do a full loop, but I want to... Yeah, this is, this is a good layout for getting like a couple more reds. And, uh... This will allow us to figure out like what what we want to take and and work on the boss with. I might do the whole final level just with some kind of use item. Don't know what though.
What do you have? Get, get a little bit more health, because why not? Same thing right there. A little bit of healing. Alright, there's another red. So we bought Shattering Justice last time. What well, would be good now? I get Tesla Coil just for some more damage. We definitely, we definitely passed the point. Like my use item starting to annoy me. <laughs> like I just can't, I can't hardly keep up with my use item right now. Oh God, what do we want? I might get uh, the new, um, I don't know how to describe it, but so many chests, just way too many chests. Not a little fireworks all the way. Yeah, bundle of fireworks is starting to look like a serious weapon now. That we have a million of them. There's another red, so let's go and get uh get the name of this item. The laser turbine. Honestly, <laughs> we could do um, our use item plus fireworks just to kill like bosses. That wouldn't be wouldn't be impossible, but it might be a little bit strange. I mean, that does a lot of damage. Oh, yay, I got them all. What are the odds? So, the use item that we have normally, like the one that we're currently using, the Captain's Brooch, has one of the longest use item times in the game, so... Now this is the phase of the Frost Relic that I don't like as much, where you get just like circles. Rather rather than little mini circles, if that makes sense. I don't know if it ever gets better again. Like, for, I feel like for having 15 Frost Relics, we feel the same as when we had 3 or 4. So that's why I don't normally stack this item. But I mean, there aren't really... There's never been... Like historically in older patches, there's never been a like really, and maybe the da maybe the damage is there, so maybe I'm just crazy. There's never been a great green to stack for forever, so it's possible that it's totally worth it. Like the boss, we should have probably started the boss a little bit ago. It's okay. Plus, this is just gonna melt.
Yeah, the, la the laser turbine, by the way, if you were wondering what that did, that's the thing that's giving us the occasional uh, red line that goes across the screen and does a lot of damage. And yeah, I kind of take back what I said about the uh, relic. It, it does feel pretty powerful compared to having less. The other layout of this map would have been better for reds, but got a couple reds here, so I can't complain. I mean, but you should you should be getting reds when you're generating, you know, a few chests a second. Vanguard down. Pick up crowbars because I'm lazy and I'm kind of worried about these fireworks crashing the game. How many fireworks do we have now? We have a lot, don't we? This is definitely the most broken thing that I've ever done with this game. I, I didn't think it was going to be. I thought that I'd done worse. And I've been level 31 before, so I've, I've gone farther with silly things. But I've never had something as broken as generating one or two items every 10 seconds. Gonna pick up uh, double jumps for a little bit just because I like the feel of jumping a lot in the air and right now I, yeah, I guess I can, I can do it a fair amount. I've got eight double jumps, that might be enough. So what would be a fun item to use for, the missiles would be a fun item to use. All right, so goodbye. Uh... Oh no, I accidentally hit the wrong thing. So we're going to one more level. We'll test out having a use item for our main weapon. Hey, let's go play this for a little bit, at least once. All right, so we've got another use item on the map, which is nice in case we want to go back to what we were doing. Alright, so we're gonna missile every four seconds. Honestly, they don't like they don't compare at all in dan in like compared to the compared to the normal damage we're doing, and they're not bad, but here I'll fire one. That's like nothing compared to if I just press attack for a couple seconds. So we're gonna go back here. And we're gonna get our Brooch back, that, and oh, thank god we finally broke that friggin' thing, cause getting got kinda worried up there. Yeah, that wasn't as, as exciting as having the brooch. I will try other, like we'll try something else for the final level. <laughs> Although maybe the brooch plus uh, Plus fireworks is the way to go. Although I'm not sure if you can generate chests. The brooch might stop working versus Providence, so we would not want to take it into Providence. We're not even on the highest difficulty yet. That's kind of one of the silly things about Drizzle is the difficulty scales up really slowly. I was kind of hoping that'd be a red. Tough times, why not? We are dropping some frames. So what do you feel like giving us? I might as well not play health shrines when I can, you know, just get a chest every five seconds. Like, what we're doing right now is actually faster than the health shrine glitch. Even with like, uh, for those of you who have seen the, you know, health shrine glitch, picture us doing it with like a uh, bustling fungus or something, 
and you know I'd say this is a chest every that's about the same speed maybe although on the shrines you the shrines you can fail and you fail them I think 75% of the time we are never failing this thing I'm not getting four leaf clovers just because we already have more items than I can think of what to do with. So it feels silly to get four four leaf clover is a chance for it's a chance for an item every uh like you kill a you kill an elite enemy, you get a four percent chance that it drops an an item. Which is cool. But we don't need that. We have more items than we know what to do with. Overloading Magma Worm. You don't normally see them on this level, but it's fine. This is the perfect character for killing it. Get more missiles, why not? Even more fireworks because I think they're hilarious. <laughs> they do more than that uh, freaking use item that we thought about taking. Yeah, I feel no urge to explore the level when I can just sit here and do this. But I do want to. I don't know what I want to get. Let's see, what's like a really interesting. I got the tether just because it's new. I don't, I've never like really, I don't know what it looks like when it works, but maybe let's get a bunch of tethers and see what it looks like when you have a chance to snare on hit. Should do something, right? Pick up another red whip just to look really silly when I'm not attacking. Getting really lucky with this 30% uh, chance to get chests. Sorry if you can no longer tell what's going on on the screen. Um, what's a good... Jar of Souls isn't much fun. I mean, it's fun, but... I can get these guys. Every four seconds I'll get those. Yeah, maybe. It's funny that I can actually just like juggle. <laughs> yeah, let's go to the final level with uh, with with these new um, squid little squirty guys. And I will try to just use this item instead of attacking. See how that goes. It won't be the most impressive thing ever because it's like, hey, you know, you played on easy and broke the game. <laughs> Big deal. But it'll be kind of funny. So normally my four shoulder buttons are are my attacks. So it's going to be interesting to hit B a bunch. I'm using an Xbox uh, 360 controller for PC. This is... Okay, now we have Frost Relics going, so that's gonna do a ton. Get more... More Frost Relics, why not? Just gonna run past these guys. The Frost Relics are really doing a number. Key cards are nice. I do think I want to be invested in getting some of the... Wow, that's crazy.
miss with, miss with most of those, but that's okay. A little bit more health. Cause chaos. Now, <laughs> I think I have to do something kind of goofy here. Just for fun of it. I'll come back to that area when when I have a use item. Yeah, Frost Relic's just in insane. Especially once it gets powerful. Come on, give me a use item. That's not use. Okay, I'm actually getting afraid to get more Frost Relics because I'm worried that I'll crash the game. Frost Relic's going and come over here and... This guy's have a lot of health. Kinda thought that would handle that guy, but it did not. Getting to be a little problematic. Just missed with that. And now I've got the paint on. Yeah, that's just too much for the game to handle. <laughs> so now I want to go through here, get another key card, because why not? These allow you to go into special areas in the game, or in, in this level anyway. Some boss just died from those fireworks, I don't know who, who it was. quite remember the layout of how this all works. Oh, it's not down here, is it? It's one up. So I need to come out here, and I might need... No, I do absolutely do not need a Photon Jetpack, which is nice, because Photon Jetpack is like the better of the two jetpacks, but it has kind of a weird movement, so I'm happy to not need it. That's right, I wasn't going to buy any more Frost Relics, didn't I say that? Here, I'm going to get Thallium. It's just a really good item. And any items that we get from here on out, we will, we will get them, but they will not show up on our screen. Like if they're like they'll show up if they're you know one a duplicate of what we have, but as you can see, our screen is filled, so we can't see more items than we have currently available to us. A little filial imprinting buddy to help out. I guess I can open you, can't I? You didn't give me a use item. You... Whoa, I missed a hyper threader. Spike strips, the worst item in the game. That's fine. I mean, we don't need a hyper threader at this point anyway. Another infusion, pretty late for that, but that's fine. Get an extra half a health whenever we kill something. Are we pretty done with... No, we're not actually done with this area at all. Come down here and just wreck havoc. Should get a use item from this. From one of these. Eventually. Or not. Oof. Game is... Not too happy about all this. Just want to use item for one of these. That is a lot of uh, frames that we're missing. I 
even with frame skip on, that really slowed down the game. So what I wanted to do was, whoa, still really slow. There we go, getting a little bit of that frame rate back. What I wanted to do was, I wanted to show off how crazy uh, opening an explorer's key around this area is. And I'm, I, I'm dead set on showing it off now, so I'm gonna make it happen. One of these has to have a use item at some point. Or not, I guess. What do I want from you? Look at that. It doesn't matter at this point. Go down here. Sorry if I'm not explaining every item that I get when I get them, but it just gets kind of tedious to like to do that when I'm picking up an item every 10 seconds. Kind of takes away from my ability to build any other narrative. Not that I'm really building another narrative or anything. There's a eight. There's a red. What red do we want now? I don't like the Ancient Scepter ability for this character, so... Oh, I can pick up a Hyper Threader, I guess. I'll do a little bit of attacking, just because we haven't, we haven't attacked with our selves in a while. I guess bosses are one way we could get another use item. Pick up the... that thing. Open you for whatever. Oh, Clover. Clover's actually totally fine right now. What do I want here? I'll take Repulsion Armor, why not? Get a big healing thing. I didn't know how this worked for the longest time. I, I, I guess you press the... Oh, and I missed one. Yeah, there's, there's really not a use item that we could get that would be as powerful as what we're doing. Oh, and we've used all our key cards because look now, filial imprinting has joined our ranks. I can farm bosses for another key card if bosses will spawn. We are not getting many bosses because. Because it's on Drizzle. I refuse to go in there until I can uh, maximize it. Do any of you elites feel like dropping something? You're not an elite, but I'll kill you anyway. Alright. Clayman, I'm counting on a drop from you. Nope. I can jump a silly amount because that is where we are in this game at this point. There's a use item. I want that. And now we get the explorer's key. And now we get to be very silly. Where am I? <laughs> I don't think I ever come over to that area of the ship. Okay, so now... Now we get to do some serious crazy damage. 
stand like right here. And then fireworks go off. Just absolute carnage on the frame rate. Can't really move. <laughs> Hopefully this looks okay in the recording. I can't really do anything about this right now. Did it to myself. Spent like 10 minutes trying to make sure I could do this to myself. Yeah, that's a lot of fireworks. <laughs> Look at that slow fade in on the command thing. It's supposed to pop up instantly. I don't think I've ever seen one frame per second. Did I, did I absolute? Did I crash the game? Might have crashed the game. No, we're getting back slowly. We have two frames per second now. Trying. I've pressed the buy item key like many times. Apparently I jumped at some point. I don't remember doing that. Okay then. Well, that's enough of that. Come back in here. Now we can use items galore. Do one for the boss. Oh, that seems fun. Glowing meteorite I don't like because uh, you can you can die to it, but it's gonna be fun with the setup we have. Let's let's stack the new uh, red because I don't think I've ever done that before. So we'll get three of them. Or, you know, two plus the one that we already have. Not sure what that does. Uh, we need a keycard to get out of here, so I'm just going to get out of here the other way. Yeah, this thing with a very short timer is crazy, because I think we will be able to fire it before, Yeah, long before it actually ends, if we feel so like we want to do that. I might invest in getting more Guardian's Hearts, just so that I don't... Oh, hey, there's a Guardian's Heart. Just so that I don't totally die to my use item. I want to get the, there. <laughs> it gave me a long time to get that infusion. I was like, yeah, I know you're going for this. Take your time. So where haven't we been? We haven't been to the armory. Use a final key card to come in here. Got a lot of reds. Picking up, uh... Now, Plasma Chain, I know, can cause lag, so I'm not super happy about <laughs> getting that, but it'll be fine. Uh, it's the first time in a long time that I've ever stacked Repulsion Armor, so I don't know what that's going to do at all. But... Might mean that, uh... I guess we're stacking Shattering Justice while we're at it. And stacking Plasma Chain, so that's fun. Uh, Minefield... Show it off. Places a bunch of mines. We could use it every four seconds right now if we wanted to. Normally it's like every minute. I thought there was another golden chest for us to get to. It's Maybe there wasn't. So I've been everywhere, right? I always forget that this door doesn't open uh, when you do the thingy, because it used to, when you open the first one. It's so cool that I can get like multiple of these meteor showers going on at once. 
There's definitely like more meteors than there would be if we were just doing this the normal way. I have to be careful because I think those might one-shot me, or they might do like a thousand damage. They do a lot, whatever the case is. Yeah, we've been to the cabin. We don't leave anything there, so we're good. I'm trying to decide if this is the... Because it's, it's fun to use this every six seconds, but I don't know if this is actually what I want to use to kill the boss. I might pick up something even sillier. What would be really silly? Oh, that's not the, um... That's not what I thought it was. Oh, well. Is there another orange candy? We'll just use this. I was thinking that that was the uh, Ifrit's horn or whatever, but it's not. I can't really tell if uh, having three of the new laser turbine is really doing anything for us, but it might be. It certainly might be. Let's see, is there a straight orange in here? Are we out of oranges? You know what? I'm gonna say that it was decreed. I'm gonna use the Sawmerang, just because it's the last thing that dropped. Man, that does like nothing. Never mind. I've undecreed it. I'm gonna run back for. for this guy. Just because the Sawmerang is really bad uh, at this point in the game. We could get something really, like, busted, like the cracked mirror, just to really turn the fight into a joke. But I don't think we want to turn the fight into a joke, do we? It's not really what we're about. Like for the cracked mirror, we'd ha actually have to attack. So it would just be us doing, you know, almost double damage, which is not not anything you really need to see. I mean, you can tell that we're already doing a lot. <laughs> is Providence? No, Providence is not going to be around for those missiles. Oh, yeah, he got hit by a couple. Use a little bit of Frost Relic on you for a while. I know it wasn't the plan, but use a little bit. Let's get some... Glowing meteorite going on. <laughs> Shields up. Those seem to be hitting him for a lot. I want to be careful that I'm not standing on a little blue thing at any point. Yeah, we have not attacked him. We used a little bit of a uh, relic. But we have not attacked this guy. Okay, so they're doing like 3,000. Uh, 3,000 versus this boss might not seem like much, but this this big gun up here, this big gun does 4,000. So 3,000 per meter hit compared to a gun that's supposed to like almost kill the guy. It's a lot of damage. Considering that we haven't even attacked him at all. Uh, we do have to be very careful because I think that the um, meteor shots will do... If one of them hits us directly, I think it'll do uh, 3,000 to us, too. No reason to believe it wouldn't. I might try and get a good... Okay, so they... Do they only do 400 to him? 
Yeah, they do 400. I don't know why I was saying 3,000. It certainly looked like it. Oh, yeah. Because I'm... I'm, I'm uh, exaggerating his health by a mag magnitude. So they're doing... They're doing about three or 400 to him versus the cannon, which does 4,000. So the cannon is still... The cannon is still very respectable. He's gone, and we're dealing with Gilded Worms, which we have uh, Frost Relic with from... The Frost Relic from Providence was enough enough to just kill those without our use item or, or us attacking. Like, we didn't attack, we didn't use our use item, we just Frost relic through it. And when uh, these um, ancient temple guards, or whatever they're called, when they die, we're going to have some more Frost Relic. It's only going to be from killing two enemies, but... It should do... Yeah, there it is. I believe it goes through his shield. Oh, it's gone now. I'm being pretty careful not to hit myself with the meteor. Whoa, just got stunlocked for a little bit. We just lost like 2,000 health. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> uh, so I went to that medical bay to heal myself. And I didn't think about the fact that the firework would kill him, but... I guess that's one way to end the fight. Well, there we go. That's Risk of Rain. Thanks for watching. I'll let the credits roll on this almost two hour video. Yeah, really fun game. Like, like obviously, I played with a bunch of, you know, easy mode with a borderline cheat. <laughs> so, like, you can play it really meditative, like that, like where you just breaking the game uh, or you can play the game on a little bit of a harder difficulty if you want this is just a list of the enemies I guess it's not really we don't really need to watch the uh, enemies scroll by uh, there's a there's a producer credits so pretty much like two guys made this game with uh, the excellent music backing of Chris Krista Donnelly who you know, d does really pretty stuff in general. And I guess these are testers that we're looking at right now. Yeah, these guys, these guys are like 20. Uh, it's amazing that they have a game that I believe sold like a million copies. Absolutely insane. Very impressive. So that's Risk of Rain for today. I uh, hope you guys don't mind a crazy long video. I'm just going to upload it as one piece. So enjoy.